Hi, I'm Tian Ruzhou. Today, I'm going to share my understandings of what's ontology and how to build an ontology for network with for, with Pertigy. There are many reasons why we need to build an ontology. For example, we need to share the common knowledge at a certain domain, not only among humans, but also among computers. Second, to reuse the domain knowledge. Third, to link the resources together. As far as telecommunication network is concerned, to build a computer understandable linked data knowledge base is our chief target. With this knowledge base, we can build networks with different levels of abstraction, which is also the main target of SDN. Often, but most of the time, to build an ontology is not a goal itself. Ontology developing usually goes with a specific purpose. That purpose is very important, because even for the same domain, different ontology can be built with a different purpose. For example, for the same network like this one, different people will choose to see different things. A network engineer will, talk, will think about the bandwidth, the data rate, the SNR, and the channel situation. For, but for a maintenance engineer, he may care about something else. He may want to know how many years the device has been used, and the what model number of the device, and who is the manufacturer of that device. There are different ontology languages in, in the world. The most commonly used ones are RDF and OWL. They are both take the format of XML and belong to different layers on the semantic web. However, since we are not investigating semantic web technologies, probably we do not want to go to that detail. We, all we need to know is RDF is defined a link data graph and I'll add a semantics to that graph. RDF defined the triple structure to describe the resources and the relationships. The triples are named because they follow the subject, predicate, and object structure, like this one. For example, if I want to describe a truth that somebody is somebody else's friend, I would build a triple like this. Essa is friend of Eric. So Essa and of Eric are subject and object here. They are both classes. And the predicate is friend of. It's a relation. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to create an ontology file with a protege. Pertigy is an ontology editor. You can download it open from the online and open it. And here you are. Um, first, let's open let's new a uh, new empty ontology file by clicking the new here. And we are already open one. You can, you can as you can see here. Uh, first, you will see an ontology RR. This is, will be your ID of your of your ontology, you can edit it. And this RAR here is a in short for International Resource Identifier. It's an extended version of URL. URL only include the characters of ASC2, which is all in English languages. And RRR can also include characters of other languages like Chinese, Japanese, and Korean. And you can see the same tabs here. You can choose which tab to show by clicking the window and tabs. You can see uh, if, I, if I want to see object property, I click it and then uh, here, here it is. Okay, now let's create some classes. The major task of build an ontology is to create the classes. First, make, uh, select the classes tab. If you cannot see this, uh, go to the windows tab and from the tabs, select the classes. Okay, uh, as we all know, all the classes are, are subclasses of things. So let's pr just press the add subclass button and enter the name of the class and press enter. And repeat the state for the other classes. Here, instead of select nodes and uh, press add subclass button, you can select which switch and then press the add sibling class button. 
you could create a, a sibling class for it. You can also delete the class by selecting the classes button. Okay, now we want to say that some classes are disjoint with each other, which means a, a instance of this class cannot be the instance of another class. For example, um, uh, we can we cannot say an instance is both a network and a node. And to say that, we select the network and click the disjoint with button and choose node. We can say a uh, network is disjoint with node and a node is disjoint of network. Okay, now we let's add some properties. Properties in ontology describe the relationships. There are two kinds of properties in ontology. One is the object property and another is data type property. Object property describes the relationship between two classes. First, let's uh, select the window. Select the object property tab and click the add sub property button. And we need to choose the domain and the ranges of this property, which is also the subject and object of the relationship. The subject of, of this uh, triple is, uh, is node because only node has part. And the range will be the class part. Okay, let's create another one by uh, select the head part property as a add a sibling property button. Here we want to say the nodes can link to each other, so both the domain and the range are all nodes class. We can add some other information by adding annotation, for example comments or description. You can also add another terms which you determine by yourself, for example. And you can type the value of the description here and click enter. And you can, of course, you can delete it here. We can also say some properties are inversed with each other. For example, we want to say uh, node has pod and pods locate in node. Let's say. Pod is a node. And this these two properties are inversed of each other. And we can add inverse or okay now let's create some data type properties. Data type property describes the relationship between uh, some classes and some values. It wants to describe the same class have some value. This value can be a data or can be a literal. First, let's create uh, open the data property tab. For example, every port have IP address. Hmm. And we we have to describe the domains here, a uh, port, and the ranges can be a string. We can also add a uh, select this one and uh, add the sibling property. Uh, 
and the parts has IP address. The IP address is a string. Now let's create some individuals for our ontology. For example, let's uh, build a network with one switch. Select the switch and click the Add All Individual button. Type in the name and let's create like three hosts. We can add these properties from here. For example, uh, these three hosts are connected to switch one, so let's click link to each one. And let's cr uh, give a name to this network. Okay, I already created one. And the network has a property, has node. Okay. Now let's uh, describe the ports of these switches. Let's give it an IP address. And let's say it is in S1. Okay. Okay, now we have shown you how to add classes and properties to an ontology and how to build the individuals of it. This is a very simple example and um, with Protege, we can also reason ontology and build some rules and to define how these concepts work with each other. And let's just explain that with uh, next time.